Good morning. How is everybody? Good morning to you. It's a beautiful morning. God's mercy is new every morning. He's a beautiful father, loving father. And Jesus, oh, he's your hero. And you're his joy. He paid the price for you. He's going to judge you. Because he paid the price for you. Because he loves you so much. And the Holy Ghost. Oh, he's going to do such things for you. Jesus said he's going to do greater things. That's why he had to go. Because <laughs> you're going to do greater things. I'm going to do greater things. That's of God. Only believe. But you're not going to be able to believe properly if you don't read your Bible. Because if you have the wrong thinking, it's, it's not going to work. If you don't know who you are in Christ, what belongs to you, and is it for today? Did it pass away? And don't fall for healing that passed away. That's a lie. Healing did not pass away. It's part of the finished work of the cross. Jesus paid for that. Quit saying that's not for today. Jesus will judge you for that because he paid for that. And how many people should still be alive, but they spoke the wrong thing because they were told the wrong thing by all these experts who know the Bible so well. Better check yourself. <laughs> what you want? Baby, I got it. That's what the Lord has to say to you. What you want? He's got it. He wants you to have it. Wealth is yours. Religion has a problem with nice things. Because they're devils. <laughs> and the devil wants the nice things. But Jesus paid for you to have the nice things. Whole world's going to burn up. Take it while it's here. God wants you to have it. We should have the most. We should... Be in the finest, not the evil. Why won't nine nines, Governor? Oh, and the Idaho four. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's become like, uh, okay. Did you guys watch the, I, I apologize for calling him the crime guy. Oh, uh, what's his name? I just got done watching him. He's awesome. He is so thorough. And uh, he's so intelligent. I wish he would do a word of the day. Okay. You know how he does location, location, location. Um, I wish he would do word of the day. He's so intelligent. I <laughs> Please do word of the day. You know, because it just wouldn't be the same coming from anybody else. Because we know everybody else is, well... We all have our gifts, and he's intelligent, okay? He is. You know? Applaud what's, what's real, okay? And he's a go-getter. He should open a firm. <laughs> get a clue. That's it. Get a clue. <laughs> I know that's what you're all saying to me, right? Get a clue. Get a clue, Ranjo. Get a clue. <laughs> well, pray for me. <laughs> mm. Anyway, oh my goodness, go watch Get a Clue, okay? Um, and I, uh, Lana, she was awesome last night too, I mean, that girl, she's gifted. She just is, yeah. Let's give credit where credit's due. And we all want the truth, right? Oh, and my, <laughs> my angel informant is alive, thank you, Jesus, but let's pray for this person um, for relief and healing. In Jesus' name, let's all believe together for her. You know, amen. So, um, glory to God. Uh, watch, get a clue. They give it away in their own paperwork. There's no possible way that their paperwork could be real. It goes right back to 
you know, it, it's just, and now it's embarrassing for them. Now, now we can see because of people like, you know, get a clue and they can really point things out for us. And, uh, Lana and, you know, I appreciate these people and all of you, you know, you guys, you guys are intelligent. You're, you're called by God. You're all in on this. You, you're all going to get a crown for this. You know, I'm not a sleuth. You know, the Lord, whatever he's told me, he's told me that I'm not a sleuth, but you all are. You're anointed for that. And God bless you. And, you know, I, I love to say who came up with what. I don't want to ever take anybody's credit ever, ever. You know, I can't have your crown, <laughs> you know, but you are going to have a crown. And you are going to one day meet these kids and I believe you're going to get a hug. I believe that. Because you're trying. You're trying for the truth for them. You know, when you say justice, how could there ever be justice here? I, I, I don't see justice here. Other than through Jesus when he judges them in the end. And, you know, if, if they repent, which I hope they do, you know, salvation is open to everyone. Um there, but for the grace of God, go I, right? You know, don't worry about it. You're not going to be there when God judges them. God's going to judge you alone. You know, you just, you just, uh, you just walk your own tightrope here and ask Jesus to come into your heart, read your Bible, do right, think right, wash your mind in the word so that demons don't take over. Because if you don't wash your mind in the word, they're coming back. Demons are coming back. That's why witches go to ceremonies, not ceremonies, uh, church events. Pretend to be, you know, part of the group just to have demons cast out of them because they want seven more to come in. They think they're more powerful than. But nothing is stronger than Jesus. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Do yourself a favor. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. God's mercy is new every morning. Today is the day of salvation. And the Bible does say, and you never know, oh, you fool, for tonight I require your soul. I don't know if that's you, but just remember that the Bible does say that God's promised you 120 years of life. So remind God of his word. That's what he says to do. God, your word says that you've given unto man 120 years of life. I take 120 years. I take your plan of 120 years. You have a plan for my life. It's good. It's not evil. It has a future and a hope. Now I take it violently by faith in Jesus' name. Now get into your Bible and let your faith grow the way God says, the only way it will grow, period. It's not going to be from a spell or because some magic potion guy said something or because you sent money, um, although, you know, given it shall be given. You, you know, you got to know why you're doing it. Because if you don't know why, it can be stolen from you, the end result that you're believing for. Know what you're believing and why you're believing it. Just remember, Jesus loves you because you're gorgeous he kisses your little toes. You're the joy that was set before him. Ooh. He's your hero. Don't let him get a bad rap. He did everything for you. Now find out what the word says he wants you to do for him. And this is open to the whole world. No one's excluded. Don't say... That Jesus left you out because he didn't. You left you out. So come on in and repent. Jesus loves you. And Roger loves you too.